As part of this conversation, there are many inaccuracies about my actions that I wish to again correct. First, I did not direct the removal of blue collection boxes or the removal of mail processing equipment. Second, I did not direct the cutback on hours at any of our postal, post offices. And finally, I did not direct the elimination or any cutback in overtime. I did, however, suspend these practices to, move, to remove any misperceptions about our commitment to delivering the nation's election mail. Any further assertions by the media or elected officials is furthering a false narrative to the American people. It's typical of how this, this hearing has gone. And uh, what's amazing to me is this bill had to be rushed out this past Saturday. You remember, did you know that 67 members did not even take the time to show up? If, if your workers at the post office don't show up, what happens? They don't get a paycheck and the, the mail doesn't get delivery. It's an insult. Uh, to, to what the Democrats are trying to do, a false narrative uh, that has not worked for them since this president was elected, uh, the Mueller report, uh, the impeachment, none of it's working. Now they, they're going fishing for this. I apologize to you. Let me get some yes or no answers. Um, are you and the Postal Service actively removing mailboxes at the behest of President Trump to undermine the election? Or as President Obama said, kneecap the Postal Service? No, sir. Was the U.S. Postal Service going to be insolvent before the election if you do not did not receive the $25 billion the Democrats insisted in including in their bill? No, sir. Is the United States Postal Service equipped to handle voting by mail for the November election? Yes, sir. Are you unlocking blue boxes to stop the mail? I, anything with blue boxes is stopped, no. So. Would the Congressman Palmer showed pictures of the burned out mailboxes uh, and the cities on fire, Portland, Chicago, Minneapolis, San, uh, Sacramento, New York. Would that kind of slow the post office delivery down? Uh, there are certain actions uh, and procedures that we have for situations uh, uh, for public unrest that we deploy. Um, a, a variety of different things up to and including getting our collection boxes out of there when it happens, but uh, I don't know all of uh, uh, everything that goes with that, but yes, it would slow down the mail. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I, under, under, since I've been here, we've spent $700 million in overtime. The overtime rate before my arrival was at 13% within the organization. It's still at 13%. As I said in my opening statement, this is a continued uh, misinformation regarding what I did since I've gotten there. I've never put a limitation on overtime. 